What's up everybody, Wild Wargasm here, coming at you guys with another Modern Warfare 3 commentary. You guys are watching a team deathmatch on Interchange, and today I'm going to be talking about how to rank up quickly in Modern Warfare 3. I've been using this strategy for a while, and I know there are tons of you guys out there that want to rank up quickly, get those prestiges, or just unlock that next super cool weapon. So pay attention, and if you guys don't have the time to watch the video all the way through, I put a little bit of information in the description. It's honestly all you need to know to rank up quickly. So the first thing you're going to need is the support strike package. At the bottom right hand side of my screen, you can probably see the sound turret, recon drone, and EMP set up as my killstreaks. Now I'm going to tell you guys why I chose those. First of all, the sound turret is amazing for shooting down enemy air support, and each time you take them down, you'll get points for it. A UAV is about 50, anything else is higher. And, you know, it's just benefiting you and your team by taking down enemy air support. The recon drone is the heart and soul of this EXP getting technique. Little do a lot of people know the recon drone gives you the same amount of EXP as a kill in team deathmatch. So that means every, every little tag you get on an enemy, that's 100 points. And if your teammate manages to pick them off, you will get an extra 20 points. And in this video, you'll see me almost get as many tags as I do kills and my score is just ridiculous with this type of strategy. Now the third kill streak you want to have is the EMP, mainly because the Juggernaut was nerfed and literally sucks now. The Osprey Gunner gets shot down in like two seconds and chances are you're not even going to pick up all your care packages. So the EMP is honestly the only viable option for the 18 kill streak in the support package. The reason I chose the EMP is because it takes down all enemy air support and SAM turrets. Meaning every, okay first of all, you'll get a base 500 points from calling in the EMP and all the air support in the air gets taken down and you get all the points just like if you were to shoot it down with a stinger missile. So with that killstreak setup, chances are you're going to get a whopping amount of points. Now for your primary and secondary weapons, you can really use anything you like. I prefer for my secondary to have either the Akimbo FMGs or the stinger missile so it can shoot down more stuff in general. And I sped up the gameplay just a little bit here because it was kind of boring and all I was planting my SAM turret and I'm just one kill away from that recon drone. I really want to get it. There's, there's this guy right around here. He's going to pop out. Nope. Never mind. There he is. There he is. Recon drone. Time to position myself and I'm going to show you guys the like the immense effectiveness of this thing. You have to aim it at an open spot to launch it. But after you launch it with the right trigger button, you can move or, you can move up and down using the bumper buttons and using your analog sticks, you kind of just di direct it. With every right trigger you, uh, with every lock on you get on an enemy, you'll get a hundred points, as you can see right there. And if you don't see that red arrow thing on top of their name, just keep your green box on top of them. And once it turns red, you're ready to lock on and get a hundred points. My team is picking them off left and right. Look at all those tags. I'm lying down on the ground beside that flaming truck. No one sees me. Just goes to show if you have Assassin Pro, like you, you can literally blend into anything as long as you're not moving and try to stay low to the ground because you will lose your signal and it's actually very hard to shoot down one of these UAV recons they've got flares, they're small and quick so you know to be honest you're not going to get shot down very often but I did it right here and everyone look away look away don't look don't look no no oh my gosh I was so rattled after getting all those assist points that I just could not aim like for the life of me and that's the gist of the strategy right now i'm just kind of sauntering around the map trying to get as many kills as possible in this game i don't get that many kills but i chose this gameplay just to show that you do not have to get a lot of kills to get a very high score if i would have gotten the emp i would have gotten an extra 500 points not including all the air support i would have taken down and you know i guess that's the gist of the strategy for perks, you can really choose anything you like. It's honestly your preference. But I guess I'll take this time really quick to, you know, announce a few things about my channel. I've decided starting next week, I'm going to try to do regular uploads on Monday and Thursday. And ideally, I want to upload two videos on Monday if possible. But I don't know, my upload speeds are horrendous. And most of the time when I upload, they don't even work because either my internet cuts out or my computer goes to sleep. Or just something you know really obnoxious like that and if you guys want to play a game with me or my friends on the weekend you guys can just send me a message or a friend request 
at Wild Wargasm. That's my gamer tag. I'll have it somewhere on my channel description, or you can just put this video in HD and you should be able to see it somewhere in the kill feed. Right now, I'm speeding up the video because nothing really happens, and you guys are about to see the sick amount of points that I got. Here we go. 15 and 3, and I've got double the points of the guys below me. What? Look at those, all those assist points. That's just absolutely insane. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.